Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem. It says that the 100 pound door has its center of gravity at G. Determine the components of reactions at hinges A and B. If hinge B resists only forces in the X and Y direction and hinge A resists forces in the X, Y and Z direction. So here is hinge A at a distance of 18 inches from the ground and hinge A can resist, can provide reaction in all the three axes. So we have a X reaction, a Y reaction and a Z reaction and hinge B resist only in the X and Y direction. So we will have B X reaction and we will have B Y reaction and the weight which is equal to 100 pounds is acting at this particular point G. So I have already drawn the free body diagram of this door. One, one of the free body diagram is from the front view and the other one is from the side view. So the front view is when we look uh, in a direction parallel to the X axis, so that will give us the front view. So in the front view, as we can see that in, when we look into this door uh, along the X axis from this direction, so we will be able to see the Y axis and the Z axis and the x-axis will be out of the screen so x-axis is somewhere here that is out of the screen let me show the x-axis is by a dot here so the x-axis is out of the screen and as we can see that in the front view we will be able to see the y and z-axis so we will be able to see only the y and z components are the the forces along the z and y axis so the since at a at hinge a we have a x but a x is out of the screen so it's not visible in this front view so here in this y z plane in the front view a y and a z they are visible b y is visible and the weight is visible since since this b y a y a z and w they are parallel to the y and z axis so they will be able to uh, to be visible in this front view and similarly, if we look into this door from this y direction, parallel in the direction of this y, parallel to this y axis, so then we will be able to see the x and z axis. So we will be able to see this part of the door. So we are going to have that part of the door. And now this will be the x and z plane. So we will be able to see all the components parallel to the x and z uh, axis. So we will be able to see AX, this is the same hinge A, so we will be able to see AX, AZ and BX. And now the AY component is not visible, AY component is in the positive Y direction and in our positive Y direction is out of the screen here. So this is the Y axis. Similarly at B we will be able to see only BX since the BY component is out of the screen that is not visible. So now we will we will consider both of these front view and side view and we will be able to find this AX, AY and BX and BY and uh, all the hinge reactions, right? So for the front view, let's say for YZ plane, if I apply the summation of moment at hinge A, the summation of moment about point A, that will be equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So now as we can see that if we are going to find the summation of moment about this point A, so both of these are not going to produce the moment since the perpendicular distance of both of these components from point A is zero since they are uh, passing to that hinge A. So this BY is going to produce the clockwise moment about this point A. So I will write minus BY and the distance of this BY from hinge A is 48 inches. This is given 24 plus 24. So that is this distance is 48 so i will multiply this by with 48 48 is the moment arm of this by similarly this weight is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point a so again i will write minus the weight is 100 pounds and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this weight from that hinge a hinge a is this distance which is given which is 18 inches so we will multiply this weight with 18 and this is equal to 0 now. So from this, from we, we can say that 48 by is equal to 100 into 18. And if we divide both sides of the equation by minus 48, 
so we will be able to get by so by is equal to 100 into 18 divided by minus 48 so this gives us minus 37.5 pounds so the minus sign tells us that uh, we need to reverse the assumed direction right so the actual direction of by is in this direction so by magnitude is 37.5 pounds and it is acting in the Ne uh, in the negative y direction we have assumed that by is towards the positive y but the minus sign tells us the actual direction of by is in the negative y so let me write that by is 37.5 pounds and it is acting towards the left so this is the actual direction of by now in the front view in the yz plane if i apply the summation of forces along the y axis so the summation of forces along the y-axis is this must be equals to zero and towards the right is our positive y direction so as we can see that we have a y a y plus b y and that will be equals to zero so a y plus b y this is equal to zero and from this we can say that a y is equal to minus b y so according to our assumed direction b y is minus 37.5 so i have to put this minus 37.5 in this equation so from this we can say that a y is minus into minus 37.5 so this gives us plus 37.5 pounds so a y equals to 37.5 pounds similarly now we are going to consider the side view so let me write that for side view before going to consider the side view we can apply the summation of forces along the z axis in this front view so the summation of forces along the z is also equals to zero in the front view the summation of forces along the z axis that must be equals to zero and the upward direction is the positive z so as we can see that we have a z in the positive z and the weight in the negative z so a z minus w plus a z minus w w is 100 this is equal to zero so a z is equal to 100 pounds so we know b y we know a y we know a z and similarly now while considering the uh, side view so in the side view again if i apply the summation of moment about point a in the side view so that is also equals to zero so the summation of moment about point a equals to zero in the side view so now as we can see that this ax and this az they are passing through that uh, point a and similarly the weight is passing through that point a the thickness is considered as is assumed to be negligible so this this weight the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point a is very very small so we can say that the perpendicular distance of the weight from that point a is zero so this ax az and w they are not going to produce the moment about that point a so only this bx is producing the moment about point a in the counterclockwise direction so we will write plus bx the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of bx from that point a is 48 so 24 plus 24 is 48 so 48 into bx this is equal to zero since no other force is producing the moment about that point a so only bx is producing the moment about point a so from this we can say that bx is equal to zero so now bx is equal to zero by is 37.5 pounds and similarly if you want to find ax uh, we can apply the summation of forces along the x-axis the summation of forces along the x-axis that must be equals to zero so now this ax is acting in the positive x and bx is acting in the positive x so i will write plus ax plus bx this is equal to zero and since bx is equal to zero so from this we can say that ax is equal to zero so ax and bx they are equal to zero and ay is 37.5 pounds by is 37.5 pounds but is but it is acting in the opposite direction of ay 
if we reverse the direction of by so actually by is acting in this direction so a y is acting in this and by is acting in this direction and similarly a z is equal to the weight so that is 100 pounds so a z is equal to 100 pounds this means that hinge b is uh, providing the support to the weight of the door so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibla statics